So the other day we talked about these two ladies grabbing cream puffs at the buffet and eating them, grabbing them with their hands, eating them over the buffet while people waited in line to get their desserts. Uh, let's talk about it a little more. There were some people that said these ladies did nothing wrong. So let's talk about whether or not tongs should be a requirement on cruise ship buffets. Hey, hey, what's up everybody? Tony with La Lita Loco. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. If you're brand new here, if you're into cruising, consider subscribing with the notification bell on. So a lot of people watched that video and a lot of people agreed with me that eating the cream puff after grabbing it with your bare hands over the buffet while other people were waiting seemed a little out of place. Seemed like, it seemed like bad etiquette, but there were a few, the a vocal minority that said, hey man, lighten up. As long as they ate the cream puff that they put their hands on, uh, no big deal. And you know, so what? Somebody had to wait for dessert. Who cares? There was uh, that sentiment out there also. So I, I wanted to come back. I, I just want to address it and, and just really kind of check the pulse of everybody out there. Am I that far off base to think that somebody using their hands on the buffet is no big deal? People said, look, as long as they didn't put the cream puff back, as long as they only touched the one cream puff and as long as they ate it, who cares? That is so insane to me. The whole reason they have tongs is because they don't want you touching food on the buffet. It's like, okay, let's assume, so my hands are big. I don't know that I could go in and, it was a pile of cream puffs, so I'm gonna go in and, and everybody's gonna be okay if I grab some cream puffs and, and I make sure that I don't touch any, it's not possible. Have you ever played the game Operation? You're trying to get the funny bone out, the metal thing touches the side, the red nose. It's the same thing. I think it's an absurd proposition. Maybe you can, right? Like maybe you're an expert at the claw machine or something. You can go in and get the cream puff and not touch any other cream puffs. But I think more than likely, especially if you're there just cackling, having a conversation, so excited. I, I understand the excitement, but use the tongs on the buffet. How can... Look, I don't, I don't really understand the sentiment. Don't, don't worry if people don't use the tongs. And then the other one that I've got is uh, the tongs are dirty. So it's better to reach in with your own hand and possibly touch the other food than to use the dirty tongs. Really? Come on. Really? So look, I agree. The tongs are dirty. Probably a good rule of thumb would be to sanitize your hands after you've gone to the buffet or to wash your hands after you've gone to the buffet. In reality, most of the food that you're eating off the buffet is going to be eaten with utensils. The cream puff could be an ex uh, like an exemption to that. You're probably going to eat the cream puff with your hand. So if you use the tongs and you're going to eat something with your hand, like you got a leg of fried chicken, you got a slice of pizza, maybe you should wash and sanitize your hands. But for the majority of the buffet items, you are going to eat them with a piece of silverware. So if you touch the dirty tongs and you go ahead and touch the food with your fork, you're not getting the dirt from the tongs directly onto the food. Now, here's the other scenario. Say you have dirty hands and you reach into the cream puffs and you just nick another one with your dirty hands. Now you've let something jump off on that other cream puff. So basically what we're saying, I guess it's okay if you have surgeon-like precision to go in and grab anything at the buffet, piece of bread, roll, fried chicken. As long as you can precision grab it and then pull it out, there's a part of the population out there that is completely okay. And then there's other people that said, who cares? if they ate a cream look these cream puffs are not one bite cream puffs this is i got big hands i got a big mouth there's no way i could eat this cream puff in one bite so you got people holding the cream puff biting the flaky pastry over the buffet that they've touched with their bare hands while people are waiting for them how is this not an issue again maybe i'm overreacting but you're gonna have to tell me in the comments is, is this really, I, I wish I could do some sort of poll down there. Is, are we really at a place where, I, if everybody on my cruise ship got sick, everybody would be like, oh, I bet you people were mishandling the food or people weren't washing their hands enough. But since everything went off without a hitch, who cares if a couple people reach in and grab food with their bare hands? But the problem is if those, if it's okay for those people and it's not a big deal, if it's not against some sort of norm on the cruise ship to not use tongs for them, then it's not for everybody. And then all of a sudden you have everybody in the food with their dirty hands. Come on. 
Now, let me just say this. There are some people that feel like these buffet stories, uh, they teeter onto the negative side. Just to give you some, look, it's a cautionary tale. The, the reason I bring it up is not to shame anybody. It's really just to pass along the message. When you're at the buffet, use the tongs. Don't eat in line holding up other people. And, and maybe use a plate. That's all I'm trying to say. I'm just trying to, maybe preemptively out there for people that are cruising, just a, just a gentle nudge, just a gentle reminder that if you are going to eat off the buffet, handle the food properly, put it on a plate and take it to your chair and eat it. That's all I'm saying. I, I got no beef with those ladies. I got no beef with the guy who grabs the bread. I do have beef with the guy who grabs the bread with his hands. You know, like... I won't go on much further, but people are like, you know, it's not bad because they didn't put the food back. You know, touching it and putting it back is a big deal. What if that, I guess you're right. So uh, take from it what you will. Uh, I guess go to the buffet, run amok. Hey man, maybe that black olive, if you can just sneak that out with just your fingers and not touch any of the other black olives so you can pop it in. That's going to be okay with some people. Hey, look, it's not, it's, I don't think it's healthy. I don't think it's sanitary. We're trying not to get sick on a cruise ship. Am I crazy? I must be, again, a, a vocal minority. More people than not said this seems like crazy behavior. But there was a few that are like, you know, I'm just grabbing stuff with my hands. I, again, no disrespect to you folks either, but seriously. if they, they got tongs there for a reason. All right, guys, let me know what you think. Am I, am I living in crazy town to think that people should use tongs, not eat at the buffet, and not hold other people up while they sample the wares? Am I just being too harsh about the whole thing? Let me know in the comments below. Let's continue the conversation. Thanks for stopping by. This is Tony with La Lita Loca, and until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido. Bye.